Hey, so what happened for the month of August in Edmonton's real estate market? You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned, so watch right now. Hi, this is Melody Wilson with the Real Life Team at Remax Elite, and we're talking to you about what happened for the month of August in Edmonton's real estate market for single family homes in the Edmonton proper area. If you ever wanna know about the surrounding areas or the condo market, be sure to send me a message, comment, or text, and I'd be happy to update you there. So today we're gonna to talk about how this real estate market is impacting us as families. If you are buying a house, if you're looking to upgrade, or if you're just trying to um, sell your home and move on to the next stage of your life, maybe you're moving out of Edmonton, what happened for the month of August because we've had some really good months prior. So we're still sitting actually at a seller's market, which is still hard to believe because we've sitting, been sitting in a buyer's market for so long. Our listing absorption rate is still at 65%. So your odds of selling are actually quite high in the single family home market. And what that means for you as a family, guess what? Um, you don't have to probably show your house as much. So dealing with showings and um, having kids in another house and getting everything clean and staying clean, it won't last as long. As long as you have the proper strategy, we've got to have the right pricing and marketing done for you in order to do that. But the market is now on your side, which is really good news for everyone involved looking to sell. What does that mean for you as a buyer? As a buyer, if you're looking to purchase a home and sell your home, you're gonna to wanna to probably look at talking to a professional to figure out the right balance and timing for yourself. Because the homes aren't lasting as long and you want to move into this home over here but you have to sell your home, we've got to balance that out because as a buyer, if you don't have a home to sell, you do need to move relatively quickly compared to the kind of time you had about six months ago, you can move a lot slower. Now, you need to move a lot quicker depending again on the situation. Now, if you're looking at the new home build world, the pricing discount has gone uh, um, lower and pricing has gone up substantially. So even a month ago, we were able to get with some builders six to 7% off. Now we're looking down at 2% if we're lucky. So different builders have different uh, discounting opportunities, but every builder is dealing with the increased cost of goods. So the lumber mill had shut down, pricing skyrocketed not only to 70% more than normal, but in some cases over 110%. So it's driving prices up, the demand in terms of all the properties that the builders had for quick possession, homes that are already built that you can buy, those are all swiped up and gone. So the builders are seeing the increased demand, they're seeing the increased demand in the resale market, and they're starting to make the prices go up. There's not as much land available, so pricing is going up on that side, and on the resale market, it's definitely starting to rise. So if you look at the average price, the average price month over month actually went up, of course. We're sitting well over 446,982 for the average single family home price. Now, if you compare to last year, interestingly enough, it's actually lower a little bit than last year. Um, I'm seeing that the price trend is gonna continue. Typically in the fall months, we start to see a slowdown and things start to move not as quickly. However, with our strange world pandemic, there's a lot of unpredictability. So there's nobody that really knows what's actually going to be happening. Uh, we just have to take each day and month and week at a time. So if you wanna see week to week updates, there is a Facebook Live updates that I do every week giving you just the raw goods of what's happening. So if you look at the overall average price trend over the last 10 years, we are only sitting for the month of August, we are sitting very close to the same price as we were last year, and that was the full year. So we've got a couple more months to go, and we are trending pretty well. So given the circumstance of what's happened in the world, it's very interesting to see that our real estate market has actually become quite strong. People were actually quite skeptical that our market would go down based on what was anticipated to happen, and in reality, we actually went the opposite way than I think most people were expecting. So currently, our active listings, we have had less active listings month over month, and that's because the demand is can't keep up with the supply. So we are having less homes, single family homes in Edmonton come up for sale than we normally do last year at this time and last month. Um, if you look at the sales, the sales were slightly lower in the month of August compared to the month before. However, year over year, we actually have had more sales in the month of August than we did last year. So if you look at the trend from last year, typically the sales start to fall down in September, October, November, December. Again, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. The Edmonton single family home market is also very dependent on 
everything else in the economy that's going on. So it'll be interesting to see what's happening. For us, we're seeing a little bit of a slowdown, but any buyers that want to buy, we can still find properties. And we just have to adjust expectations in terms of how long do you wait to find that perfect home? Um, because you do have an amazing interest rate. It's at a very, very all time low right now. Last year we were at least a percent higher and now we're already quite a bit lower. If you're looking at buying an investment property, you're at an interesting opportunity as well because we're just about, I feel like we've been doing this and we're slowly coming back up. So I don't believe we're gonna spike up. I think it'll be a slow, gradual increase, um, but it is starting to happen. It is fall, winter months now, and we may see a little bit of a flat line before next spring. So if you're still wanting to get into that house and deal before next spring, now is a great opportunity to take advantage of that opportunity. So no big surprise, the average days on market, we went down to 44 days, all time low in the last year. It continues to go down because again, sales are a higher seller market versus a balanced or buyer's market. It's a great time right now in single family home market to take advantage of whether it's investment, moving up or getting into your first home. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, but hopefully this market information helped you in terms of what is happening in Edmonton, what does it mean to you, um, how can you take advantage of it. If you're just looking to stay in your home, but you're looking to see how much equity has been built in your home, let me know because the equity situation will have changed from this year to even in February of the earlier this year. So your equity stance has changed a lot and we're happy to run numbers for you, no obligation. You can kind of find out where your equity is at. Um, whether you want to put some more money into your house to continue to grow your equity or if you just want to know for your own sake and maybe you want to pull some of that equity, purchase another property, there's a lot of different opportunities that you have. So hopefully that helps you. The August market did really well in summary. September, we're going to see how that goes. We're typically slower in September. So next month I'll update you to see how September did in the Edmonton real estate market. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next month.